um, you have a strong standpoint in saying this is not the right channel. But now I want to ask you, as a strategist, you want to communicate to people between the ages of 18 and 24 a product that is as boring as pure water. Okay? Sorry? Sorry, I'm, I A product that is as boring as pure water. Yeah. Right? How and how would you do this to get excitement and get them to engage with that product if you're not going to go through a channel that has to do with entertainment or, let's say entertainment is open, like going through a brand ambassador. So that way you open our minds to other avenues, so to speak. Okay, so let's say I want to buy a phone. So what do I do? I, I go through my contacts, the person that I feel is tech savvy, and I ask him, okay, what is the best phone I can buy for so and so and so price? Just change from pure water to phone, but that's no, all right. I'm, I'm just... I didn't want pure, something like pure water is Pure water <laughs> is a... Pure water is a very base need, as in thirst. So if you are... All you need to do is simply make it available at every possible point for people to buy when they are coming through so that they can quench their thirst. That's the, that's the issue. That's, that's where... That's where that is. A bit more than that, but go on, go on, go on with the phone, with know, the phone so, one. But, but my problem is that so much of communication, so much of PR and advertising is still in the 20th century till now. So you have 20th century language entering 21st century, um, 21st century space. At the beginning of the summit, you had Belgian Shobanjo uh, show you a difference between how they ran an, an ad campaign for peak in 1980 and how they ran an ad campaign in 2015. It's not the same thing. You can't... Um, you have to inspire people. You have to make your campaigns uh, joyful. You have to make people make make people feel like what you are going to give them is going to add some kind of joy to their lives. But the thing is, you can't. Un, but you can't do that unless you understand messaging, unless you understand uh, certain basics about what about the way the millennial mind operates. Am I? Is one of the exceptions to the rule in his own space. Well, I want to quickly say, because I have to wrap up right now, but what I'm trying to say is that we have seen, we, we, we see, this is pop culture. It's good. It's pop, it's pop culture, is young people, right? Yeah. If you do not want to go through the scene of entertainment, which is what they gravitate towards, you would not see an 18 year old boy saying, I'm excited by the network news or I want to watch news on channels. He wants to watch. E. So it's like, how do you do it if you're not going to play in the same puddle of water with them? Because that's what they eat, live, and breathe. Because the first thing, when they talk to their colleagues, they're going to talk about what? What is cool? The first thing they'll talk about is what's happening on the ministerial list. I don't think the 18 year old kid worries about that. He's still worrying about what is Kanye sneakers. Do you understand what I mean? So I'm trying to come to you and asking you, what is the other channel? If you're going to take away the trend, which is the core of the young people, how do you still communicate with them, knowing that they are going to be with you for literally as long as an Instagram video, which if is 15 gonna, seconds? If you're going to, you can use celebs. See, celebrities appeal to certain segments of the youth population. Okay. So, for example, Leo Kesh does not appeal to the same demographic, strictly speaking, that MI, um, that, 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 that MI connects to. It's not the same thing. So if you're going to market something through Liu Cash, it's not the same kind of brand you're going to use to market through MI. It's a completely different thing. So you need to bear that in mind as well. So people who are more intellectual, quote unquote, will lean towards MI, people like him and Banky W. But others, others may lean. Please, I was not here. Others I was not may here lean. At all. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I was not here when so, you said those things. And, and others may lean towards people like, you know, um, uh, Lil Cash, Olamide Davido, and so on and so forth. But the thing is, if you don't know what you're selling, see the problem, see the problem. If you don't know what you're selling and how this, the celebrity ties into that campaign, it's going to fall flat. Campaigns fall, are falling flat all over us, but nobody talks about it. It's just millions okay. down the drain okay. because you don't take your time to analyze your audience. Okay. Okay, so I, I get you very well. So from what you're saying, Emma is good for champagne and Lil <laughs> Kesh is good for pure water. Um, but at the end of the day, we are all still dancing to Shocky. 